It's about time we stop those of us who support, as most of us do, Israel in this body, for apologizing for our support for Israel. There's no apology to be made, none. It is the best $3 billion investment we make. Were there not an Israel, the United States of America would have to invent an Israel to protect her interest in the region. The United States would have to go out and invent an Israel. The second part is people should understand by now that it should be crystal clear that Israel, Israel is the single greatest strength America has in the Middle East. I always say to my friends when they say those things to you, I say, imagine our circumstance in the world were there no Israel. How many battleships would there be? How many troops would be stationed? You know, I used to say, early on when I was a kid, I'd say, when I was a young senator, I'd say, if I were a Jew, I'd be a Zionist. I am a Zionist. You don't have to be a Jew to be a Zionist. Progress occurs in the Middle East when everyone knows there's simply no space between the United States and Israel. There is no space between the United States and Israel when it comes to Israel's security. There is only one nation only one nation in the world that has unequivocally, without hesitation, and consistently confronted the efforts to delegitimize Israel. At every point in our administration, at every juncture, we've stood up on the legitimacy, on behalf of the legitimacy of the state of Israel. The security of Israel in the United States is inextricably tied. And we will never, ever, ever abandon Israel out of our own self-interest. I also emphasize what I've said throughout this conflict. The United States fully supports Israel's right to defend itself against indiscriminate rocket attacks from Hamas and other Gaza-based terrorist groups that have taken the lives of innocent civilians in Israel.